guys, General Tony here, your host, and welcome back, my friends, to a brand new episode on the channel. I am excited to be back because we're about to do something pretty damn serious in this episode, guys. Now, for anyone that missed the previous video, if you take a look at the top right-hand side of the screen, we have got over 12,000 gems, guys, because we did buy some of the special offers in the previous episode. We're going to be buying the rest of these at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But before we do that, guys, before we do anything, in fact, we're going to come over and we're going to be gemming not one, but two heroes to the next level, guys. So take a look at this. We're upgrading the Barbarian King to level, what is it? Let's click the info button. Level 67, I believe. Let's upgrade him right now, guys, for 682 gems. There he is. Upgrade completed. Barbarian King level 67. And now we also want to upgrade the Grand Warden, guys, for 681 gems. I believe this is going to go to level 44. So let's do that, guys. And we have got ourselves a level 44 Grand Warden. So my Grand Warden level 44, King's level 67, Queen is level 70, and the Royal Champion is level 20. Do me a favor, guys. If you are sub to the channel, let me know down below in that comment section what level are your heroes and what Town Hall level are you? Has anyone got maxed out heroes? All four heroes maxed out in the game. If you have, you are either an absolute beast or you've been spending a crazy amount of money. So let's remove that gem box, guys. We gem those heroes because today, my friends, it's going to be a bit of a big episode. Take a look at this. If we click the attack button and we go into the battle log, guys, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six attacks left to use. And there is a new battle day starting in the next three hours and 48 minutes, guys. So really, we're going to be having 14 attacks in the next couple of hours. So we're going to get so close to 6,000 trophies. It is incredible. This is going to be the highest in trophies we have ever been. But before we actually do some live attacks, I wanted to show you something that I only just realized a couple of minutes ago before I actually hit that record button, guys. Take a look on the right-hand side. You can see not a single player has ever three-starred this base since Town Hall 13 was released, guys. So if we go into my defense log, take a look. This is going to show you some older defenses. Not a single base, guys, has actually been three-starred, which is crazy. I maybe have one of the best base designs there is in the Legends League. I'm going to show you it in a couple of seconds because it's not the one you can see. In fact, that one, we didn't even lose a trophy. How insane is that, guys? So many one-stars as well. We've been trolling the last week doing troll strategies. If we actually attack properly, we would probably be in like the top 100 players on the planet. But that is incredible. Let me show you the actual base design we are using. Click the fence, guys. Let's go for a scout. I think it's this one. Hold on one second. It is this one right here. So let's set it as active. And it's not letting me do that, guys. Okay, edit layout. This is what it looks like. This is the immortal base. Impossible to three-star. No one has ever three-starred this base. Take a look. Looks pretty damn scary. I'll let you know if anyone does three-star it, guys. But hopefully, it stays undefeated. And um, maybe... We can climb really high in the next season. For anyone that's wondering, the new season starts in six days, three hours. So we've only got six days to reach 7,000, sorry, 6,000 trophies, guys. So let's get ourselves into today's first live attack. We've already boosted all the heroes apart from the king and the warden. Let's do that. And let's rock and roll and get ourselves into live attack number one, guys. Here we go. I'm actually just going to use that because we may as well. We've got it. Let's use it. Here goes nothing. First live attack. Six attacks left to use in the next couple of hours. Let's destroy some bases. Okay. This looks juicy, guys. I actually love bases like this. It's kind of like an onion base. Hopefully, we can do some serious damage to it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the queen. Gonna get those healers in at the back, guys, and I want the queen to obviously funnel down that side. So let's use the wizard to drop the actual building there, and I'm gonna use the baby dragon to funnel these buildings, guys. Now I wanna make sure this queen stays alive 
and doesn't die from the defending queen. Here we go. Oh, damn. We're going to need to use the queen's ability. That kind of sucks. Hopefully, she can kill the royal champion. And we're going to start moving in now with the entire army, guys. Here we go. Everything is going to rock into the base. Apart from the royal champion. I'm going to hold back with the royal champion. I'm not going to use it just yet. Let's get the wall breakers in as well. Everything rushing down the center, guys. I have the poison spell ready to rumble. And we're going to go with the Grand Warden's ability nice and early. There it goes, guys, to try and save as many troops as possible. Did I just click a hero ability by accident? I'm not too sure, guys. Where are we? Where are we? Let's go for a double freeze. Let's rage up and drop that jump spell down on the left-hand side. And everything should kind of roll into the center. Still got the King's ability. Still got a rage spell. Still got the Royal Champion's ability, guys. Another rage is going to go down. Here we go, up to a total of 63%. I'm going to pop the Royal Champion's ability right now to take out the Giga Inferno, guys. There it goes. Scattershot is still alive, though. Let's try and take it out. There goes the King's ability over on the left-hand side. And now it is time to move in with these balloons, guys. Are there going to be air mines and air bombs here? I'm not too sure. It looks like there are none. And we could be looking at a three-star, guys. Check it out. 82% damage already. Believe we've got this. Here we go, 85. Still climbing. 86. All we need to do is take out that scatter shot with a one shot from the bowler. Maybe a two shot. There it goes, guys. And it is certainly game over for this dude. As we wipe out the rest of... Oh, damn. Take a look at that. Okay. Hold on. He's got two Tesla Towers on the edges, but we've got 50 seconds to get them. Hopefully the Yeti can break through and take out the one on the left, guys, as the Queen swings for the one on the right. Who's going to get there first? Larry's are going to get zapped. So Queen is too powerful. The Tesla is being killed, guys. And now we're off to the other side of the base. 30 seconds. Here we go. There's no way the Tesla is surviving. 40 trophies. What a great way to actually start this episode, guys. So, we're going to go straight into our second live attack. We're not going to waste any time. We are going to take on another legend. But before we do that, I'm going to log on to my other account, guys. And I am going to donate some troops. So, let's go to... Hold on. Let's just collect that bonus. Let's add that to our collectors, guys. And let's do this. Look at that. 10,800 gems. That looks pretty awesome, guys. Let's request ourselves a clan castle. And let's fill it. We're going to go with a single giant. Ice Golem, Pekka, War Wrecker, and a Rage Spell, guys. Okay. Let's do this. Troops, spells. We just need to gem the heroes. And I need to quick train up another army. There we go. Here we go, guys. 12 gems. We got so many gems, it doesn't even matter. We are rich. 6 gems. And we've got ourselves another 20. By the way, guys. If you made it this far into the episode... Do not forget, we are doing a 2,500,000 subscriber giveaway. As soon as we get to 2,500,000 subs, one subscriber will win $250. All you need to do is sub to the channel to have the chance to win. And do me a favor, drop a like on the video if you've made it this far into the episode, guys. Just takes a second. Tap that like button ever so softly. And let's do this. Live attack number two. Okay. Let's grab that queen. Let's... I'm, I'm guessing there's loads of air mines and air bombs there. So I don't want to come in from that side, guys. Nor do we want to come in from the bottom. This side over here looks a little bit better. The air sweeper's facing the opposite direction. And I think I can get my queen to enter here with the wall breakers, guys. So let's do this. Let's get the queen in. Hopefully there's no traps over here. Got a feeling there might be, but... I don't know. Looks like there aren't any, guys. Queen is gonna... Oh, damn, the queen's not going to funnel. We did not funnel this correctly, guys. Please don't let the queen come down here. Yo, that was close. She's going to run back. We just need her to go to the left-hand side, guys. That is all we need. And hopefully she can take out the air defense as she does it. Okay, so we're looking good. She's definitely going to go left, I think. Maybe she'll take out that barrack, then go left. Here we go. Yeah, okay, let's rage up the queen. And let's start with these Yetis, guys. King's gonna go down, Wall Wrecker. Grand Warden. Witches. And the Bowlers. And we are gonna use the Wizard on the Dark Spell Factory. 
drop in the rage spell, freeze that inferno tower straight away guys, and I'm going to get the jump spell in as well for the queen. Okay, so as that is going on, we're going to go with the royal champion down the left wing, rage up the royal champion, we've lost so many healers guys, what is going on? Damn, that kind of sucks, wow. Okay, let's drop that poison spell down, let's rage up the troops in the center, go with the archer queen ability, as she takes out the town hall, hopefully, here we go guys. Gonna pop the Grand Warden's ability over on the other side. And the Royal Champion's ability as well. Guys, this hasn't gone well. Don't really know what's happened, but we've kind of got melted. Let's see what we can do to recover this. Let's send in some of these loons. Yep, just as I predicted, so many traps over on that side. Maybe we should have come in from that side anyway, because it looks like we have gone from a 3-star to a terrible 2-star. Absolutely horrendous. Let's take out a couple more buildings, but it looks like it's the end of the road, guys. At least we've done 70%. I always think that's like the bare minimum you should do against bases, guys. 71% two-star, 72% two-star. Every building counts. That's going to take us to a total of 23 trophies. Not too bad, guys, but yeah, not the greatest. What we're going to do, we are going to be ending this episode right here. Make sure you copy that base design if you want something awesome for the Legends League, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like if you made it all the way to the end. And stay tuned for the next episode.